Hi, we're Peter. I want everyone in the room to imagine a person called Xiaomi. He's one of 10,000 Chinese students at UNSW. He's a law student and his textbook looks like this, covered in Chinese translations and annotations. Google Translate <laughs> isn't overly helpful for specific legal terminology like this. And every day he gets bombarded with ads for legal essay writing services. And we all know how that ends up. The problem is essentially threefold. Struggling students work overtime trying to go it alone. Top students and their classmates' peers have no incentive to help out. And the class participation system, the one that's supposed to fix this, actually excludes students who are introverted, international backgrounds, have disabilities, or who are female. Basically, class participation is rigged for English-speaking, extroverted, and disproportionately male students. In fact, from our survey, Chinese students and mostly women, rarely participate in class at all. We think this is a tragedy. From our research, we can show that web participation or web online participation is an awesome alternative for these groups. So our mission is to make class participation fair for everyone and incentivize peer-to-peer -peer learning via assessment. So the solution is a browser plugin. Contributing students can tag terminology and define it. The best comments get upvoted by mates verified by teachers, and count towards class participation. So struggling students learn. And this is how it works. We've got a website. I want to define a term or find a definition. Instantly, we get comments from my classmates. The best ones are uploaded. Works on PDFs as well. I can see contextual comments, translations, and even those verified by professors. So we're going to be on the Chrome Web Store. Um, because uh, we're a plugin, we are instantly compatible with all platforms that already exist. And these technologies are already used and loved by industry. So the market we're addressing is the 1.4 million students Australia educates every year, particularly international students and particularly Chinese students for our pilot program. We're going to charge 42 cents per student per month, charge to the faculty, and our roadmap is going to include development, expansion to other universities, and then maybe into industry. We're Piano, we're four students, two from law and two from computer science. We believe in the ability of educational technology to make class participation fairer for everyone. And with your help, we can begin that journey. Thank you. So who's currently, who's your, who do you see as your biggest competitor? Um, so there are competitors that exist that do web annotation. I included one of them on the slides. The differentiator is that those are public annotators. And we sort of believe that the era of altruism, of Wikipedia, sort of over. People don't want to add knowledge to the world. Whereas when it's specified to a course, and when you log in with your ZID, there's no meaning, there's no jokes, because teachers can see it, and it counts towards participation marks, which is something the university is moving towards anyway. And I think sometimes we may consult Google, Wikipedia, as our competitor, but we have a function of social network, because we need to log in, and every peer commands contribution to the command on our platform. So in the future, if your function, your software has function of social network, it will be promoted automatically. So we don't need to do, I mean, struggle to match money or sometimes time to contribute to the promotion to the time of marketing. And our biggest distinguisher is the fact that it's course-based. So you're getting people to, who are in your course, who come from similar backgrounds to you, to explain and contextualize everything. Sometimes we're addressing the 70-20-10 problem. 
the part where teachers have to cater their teaching towards the 70% majority. 20% are way ahead of the curve, 10%, no matter how hard you try, the lecturer can't get through to them. We're hoping that the 70 and 20% can finally tap into it and help this 10% uh, and explain it because they understand that it works. Uh, he took my question, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, is this just for a, a single instance of a course? What happens after that course is over? Actually, I think because uh, if we stay the first, make the first mistake, we need to have one course, one specific custom. For example, we are we are familiar law, you know the word English word. I'm Chinese student. The English word in law is definitely hard for me to understand. For example, we make some example specific performance. Anyone can answer what's the meaning of specific performance in court or in the law? Usually the first time I think that it's it's some detailed performance, but it's not. It's about the contract. So we want to use law, use law, use this code as our first step. If we success in this field, we will step out the next stage. Because we think as a startup, we cannot match too big. We need some space to handle it, to make first step. And this first step, step success, we step out. Yeah, step out. So to add on to that, um, the whole idea is it's sort of like a lexicon, as you, there's a, a little favorites thing for words, and then that goes into your own personal dictionary, and then for any sort of like troublesome phrases, you can go back and look at it, and especially for something like law, something like specific performance, um, you might not get your, wrap your head around it at first, so it's gonna go across courses, and across your entire career, and then, yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll kick off the progress and I just like briefly add, you certainly could have historical definitions from yeah. previous trimesters. Maybe you could even try to beat them. Yeah, you have to help. Game of We're actually out of time, but I'll, I'll just I'll actually feel like asking Thomas what this work. But anyway, I won't. Um, no, he's, are you ready to take a question? <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. No, um, we've actually been looking at for something like this, but I'm in the ABC, which is Credit School of Management. We do have overseas students, not some Chinese students, but um, I guess my question, there's a, I've got lots of questions, but I mean, one of them is, it looks like you're using materials that are under copyright. So how do you see that working? Because we have a whole lot of problems around, you know, readings and things. I don't know about the legal stuff, but that may not be the case. So I presume that this is specific, you're thinking this is specific to law? I mean, law would be the pilot, but it would go into the so yes, as a technical guy, I will answer you this question. We will not record or download every word or this whole sentence from the web or PDF. Actually, we will do what? We will only read or memorize the word, a single word. Because if I use specific performance, it's a public word, right? I download the specific performance. You cannot charge me. It's a product copyright. But user, when they contribute to a command, right? They were explaining for the whole the context meaning. So the use contributed for us is not our our, our duty, right? <laughs> That's the meaning. Yeah. So we avoided the um, copyright. Yeah. yeah, because single words aren't subject to yeah, the copyright. Yeah. Such as the Kindle. Kindle used the uh, the first line, the second, the fifty, the fifth words. They use this technology to record uh, the highlight, but we use the different. Uh, uh, yes. I, I can see this working up. My, my only concern would be that somebody like some of the tools already have these things built into them in a way. What you seem to be doing is trying to set up a system that more or less it socializes it, I think. Yeah, so it's social learning yeah. as opposed to individual passive learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I get it. I, I, I guess I just question where it would plug in into what system because the, the content and other subject areas are spread across a, a number of different modes and models and, and Sometimes have to get it from the library, and sometimes it's in this journal, and then sometimes it's scanned by the library. Um, I can I can sort of see it work, but anyway, just think. Yeah. If you get that stage, that means we have already successful. <laughs> 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 Thanks so much, Pino. Yeah.